heading into the long weekend, but there's some important things that you should know, especially if you plan on boating, a few safety tips if you're out on the water. And that's why we have Richard Baker with the Toronto Police Marine Unit to tell us a bit about it. So first and foremost, life yep. vests. Life vests, very, very important. You gotta make sure that you have one for every person on board your boat and it has to be properly fitting. So if you have the kids, make sure that they have the ones that fit them, not the adult size. Um, and for adults too, some of the stuff that you see we're wearing, you know, there's new technology out there, very comfortable, you can be wearing them all the time. What we see a lot of times and tragically is that people aren't wearing their life jackets or they don't have them at close at hand when things happen and they go in the water and that's where the tragedies happen because they slip under the water and unfortunately if they had this on, they'd probably be alive today. And the stats are alarming already for this year in Ontario. Yeah, we've had 54 drownings this year due to recreational either swimming or boating. And a lot of that is because they're not wearing life jackets. Cold water immersion, very dangerous. And it's a very real threat here in Canada. There you go. Okay, so we have our life vests on, but if someone falls into the water and uh, let's say that they're there for a long period of time, yeah, right? They're, they're, How do they keep warm? Wait, you know what? There's lots of things that you can do. You know what? You got to conserve energy. You lose heat 25 to 35 times faster in the water than you will on land. So get into a nice tucked position, call it the heat escape blessing position or the help position. That's the acronym. Pull your knees into your chest, lean back, just kind of conserve your energy because you want to keep the core warm. So when you have to get out of the water, you have that strength, you can get out, you can do something. Let somebody come to you and help you. They'll direct you. Um, they'll throw you a, hopefully they have a buoyant heating line, which is what we should be carrying. Again, make sure you have those on your boats this weekend. They should have all the proper reboarding devices, that type of thing, to get the people back into the boat. Okay, and uh, who should they contact if they need help? Again, hopefully they're carrying a, a VHF radio. Not a lot of boaters because of the expense. They don't carry the VHF radios. A lot of people like to use cell phones. Make sure your cell phone is in a watertight case, okay? Because it's not much good to you if it gets wet and it's not working. So calling 911, but if you're on the VHF, you call channel 16, channel 16, which is the emergency channel. That'll get help coming. There's lots of marine units, fire, all the etc. out there that are there to help you. Okay, so the driving message is stay safe this long weekend. Stay right? safe, stay sober. Again, too, make sure that you're, you know, you keep the cocktails back at the cottage. I always like to say, be safe out there. Thank you very much. No problem. On Lake Ontario, I'm Stella Cuisto, City News.